was your examination. Thank you very much, Mr. Nick. And good evening to everybody. And it is my great pleasure to have this opportunity of sharing uh, what little Dharma knowledge I may have with you all tonight. And the subject for tonight is the Bardo, which is invisible to every one of us. But we can talk something about that invisible things. And basically we say there are three existences. The existence of the birth, the existence of the death, and the existence of the part of which we normally say. According to the Buddhist tradition, all these three existences are actually pardo. The term pardo means in between. Actually, the, the period itself is called the pardo. And the person or beings that is roaming around between these certain periods are called pardo beings. So Pardo is not actually the being, it is the time period in between. So, like we are also Pardo beings, because we are in between birth. Our birth has started already, but our death has not yet come. So we are in between the time, birth, and the death. And according to Buddhism, or the teaching of Lord Buddha Shachamuni, that all these three existences are miserable. There is no real everlasting happiness and joy in those three existences. For example, the moment we were born, we are with the misery. We are with the troubles. Even the babies, the moment they were born, although they do not have the abilities that we grown up peoples do, but they still have the kind of suffering. They have a suffering of not being able to recognize what is the what are the things around the baby. They have no ability to communicate with us. So that itself is the suffering. As it grows up, then we have so many difficulties, so many problems. We have to tackle with so many situations and circumstances. And particularly, we have to tackle with the old age. We have to get old. So this is basically the nature of the suffering getting old is because that when you realize that you are getting old it doesn't make you happy it makes you feel unhappy so the getting old itself is the suffering and then of course as we grow up there may have been so many difficulties, problems that we have to go through. And then the sickness is always there as an uncertain, uncertain problem. That from the childhood you may get sick, as you grow up you may get sick, and then when you are old, still you may get sick. So this, the parto or the existence of the birth itself is the miserable and suffering. And it is not that we should desire, desire for in the next lifetime. That means you should not wish to be born here. So then the death comes. And death is in a many way explained by different scholars even within, within the Buddhist uh, among the Buddhist scholars 
And then, of course, normally, according to the doctors, they have a, their own way of explaining the death. But when we talk about the death, about the part, I would say there are two different types of the death. We have an inner death and an outer death. And death is kind of in a process. You see, when a person is dying or dead or death, death comes because of the three things. What we normally say is because of the three exhaustions. Exhaustion of the lifespan, exhaustion of the uh, karma, and the exhaustion of the merit. And not just because of three things exhausted, but even if one of them is exhausted, it may cause our death. But then such situation, we can prevent the death. And if all three of them exhausted, then we cannot prevent. We have to go that way. So we cannot blame God or Buddha or Bodhisattvas that they cannot help us, that they, nobody can prevent us from the death when all those three things are exhausted.